all you need is love, love, love is all you need. And a tank top, let's be honest, you need a tank top. Hey friends, I'm Joe Carlesi, the super brave teacher, and today we're going to talk about love. But before then, before that, before that, please bear with me as I am filming these videos late into the night because Tired, Joel. Come on, you can do this. Okay, friends, I'm Joel Carlos, a super brave teacher. It's getting a little late, well, at least late for this guy, but I'm filming videos because I am on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way, and that starts all hours of all days to spark bravery and to make things better today, even if it means that I need to film videos into the wee hours of the night. Okay, it's like 7.45, so don't worry about me, but it's late for this guy. I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher, and I'm tired. Does it ever happen to you that you hear something again and again and again, and you actually know it to be true, and you know it's the truth, but you don't really let it like sink in and be real for you? And then finally, you hear it and you're like, oh, that's so true, I never, I never really got that before. Yeah, that happened to me over the weekend. Now, we were just in Indianapolis for some friend's wedding and, well, dear friends, beautiful wedding. And it was awesome to just get away and travel with my husband and enjoy that wedding and that experience and then also have the time to be stuck on a plane and read books and magazines and just be open to beautiful new things. And while we were in the airport, I was reading a book and it just kept saying again and again, anything that is not connected to love is not true. It is not truth. And it hit me. And I'm going to say it again, just so it might hit you. Anything that is happening in life that is not connected to love is not the truth. profound and it just made me think of all of my shame I have for example that's not true because it, it's not love and all my fears and all my doubts and all my worries and all these things that are just so much a part of me when I get pissed off when I belittle myself when I get angry at that person because why are you doing that it's not true because it's not coming from love it's not coming from who I am, created in God's image, which is my very being, love. And it's just nice for me to A, know that, and B, use mindfulness, something I've been working really hard on, to just notice and be present and feel all the times where I'm disconnected from love, where I'm rushing around thinking, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta do. And to just pause and say, you know what? It's not love. And if it's not love, that's not you. And how can you, Joel, reconnect to love? So it's been fun, even just in the few days since then, to just sit in that and as I'm waking up in the morning ask myself how can I be love for my husband now when I say can I be love I'm not saying I'm God don't don't go crazy on me but you get what I'm saying and when I'm on the on the road to school I ask myself how can I be love right now how can I manifest love right now in my life and when I get to school and I'm greeting kids and greeting adults how can I be love when I'm planning beautiful lessons for kids, how can I be love? When I'm leaving school, how can I be love? And when I'm at home and at the gym and seeing friends and family, how can I be love? And it's so amazing how it's been impacting me to just sit in love and know that I am love and to know that anytime I'm not love, that is not me. Like that's disassociation. Like I'm disassociating myself from what I am. So, I'm going around and around, 
You know me, I tend to do that. But I just wanted you to know that you also are love. And how beautiful to know that we are connected in love. I love you. Thank you for being you. I like to just do that mindfulness where you just imagine someone and you just see that that burst, that bubble of energy, that bubble of love, and it's just all encompassing them. And the more you do it, and the more you visualize that, it surrounds them and it also surrounds you and you realize like you're one and the same. You're all created in the same beautiful image of love. And ugh, ugh, ugh. Mm, mm, mm. You are love. You are loved. You are awesome. Thank you for being you. <sighs> Leave a comment below. Send me some love. You are appreciated. Yeah, send me some love. Leave a comment. That wasn't like a please. It was like a do it. <laughs> you are loved. You appreciate just for being you. You are loved. You are love. And Joel, you are loved. And you are love. Feel it. Know it. Believe it. See it. Amen? <laughs> Bye, friends.